We're here with Amy Webb, CEO of Future Today Institute. We're gonna be talking about some of the most powerful trends that we see in the world today. We've seen food prices spike in certain areas as people try to recover from the pandemic and there's still disrupted supply chains in various parts of the economy. So for ag tech and the inclusion of ag clouds that are making these smart farms, why is that so important today? The reason that ag clouds are important is sort of multifaceted. Some of this has to do with the obvious. We've got weather patterns that are changing that are less predictable. Some of this has to do with the ways in which we will grow food in the future. And agriculture really hasn't changed in 12,000 years. Part of the reason for that is we just didn't have enough technology. We now have the capabilities to collect and use data. You know, what's happening with each individual crop, what the soil conditions are, whether or not there's blight, you know, really robust bits of information that can be used to make decisions. And that's gonna give us greater certainty. And that's important for individual people, but it's also really important for companies that have to make financial decisions, uh, supply chain decisions based on what's happening in the field using real-time data. Some of the biggest tech companies in the world are building clouds specifically for agriculture. We've seen a lot of progress in the area of plant-based meats, but it seems like the next iteration of food innovation is actually making real meat, but making it in a lab. So how far along are we in that technology? A lot of cultures have sort of woken up to the idea that the supply chains for meat are expensive, they are not the best for our environment, and on top of everything else, we've got climate change to contend with, which means that um, producing meat is going to be ever more challenging going forward. So there's a lot more work going into creating and growing organs for transplantation. So this is kind of the same idea, except we're growing meat that can be eaten. What that means is that sushi-grade, beautiful you know, tuna, rather than flying in from Japan, you could grow it in a bioreactor in Nebraska and have the freshest sushi that you have ever had in your life. And I think it's just gonna be a matter of time before we see more and more products, chicken, beef, pork, even fish, to start start to hit the shelves. That sounds kind of crazy and weird, except that that technology already exists. It hasn't scaled yet, um, which means that the products are still kind of expensive. But in the longer term, we're talking about supply chains that, that shrink significantly, which also means that we don't have to transport meat all over the world.